Just bounce to this. Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Brandon Clements, and welcome back to part eight of our Substance Painter Stormtrooper uh, tutorial series. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to jump into uh, Substance Painter, and we're going to start blocking out all the other different materials on the helmet. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. And you can see here, um, I have the Stormtrooper white. I put the dirt layer inside of it, so uh, it's pretty cool because you can like version these out um, depending on what you like and what you don't like. So. You know, once you build these out in Substance Painter, you can always go back and change it per cl client request. So um, that's really handy to be able to do that. Let's go ahead and we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to have this outside of the Stormtrooper white. And we'll name this one uh, Headband. So let's go ahead and create a new fill layer. And we're going to use this as the base color of the headband. We're going to right click and we're going to add a black mask to it and then we're going to right click again and we're going to say add color selection and we're going to pick that color for the headband and then let's change this base color and we're just going to uh, make sure this is only the base color. We're going to make it really dark. Okay. And you'll see these lines coming up again. Uh, no worries. Uh, as we know, this is just something we need to adjust in the tolerance. So as you move that tolerance up, then uh, you'll be able to have that black headband show up. Okay, so let's continue on and just block out the rest of them. Uh, let's make another folder and let's call this one visor. And this will be for the eyes. So again, fill layer. Let's say this is the base color for the fill layer. Let's add a black mask and let's also right click and add a color selection. Okay, so we'll pick the red for the color of the eyes and we'll make this um, only be the color for the eyes and we'll make it completely black because we're going to make these very reflective. Okay, so um, I think that looks good. Um, let's go into our color selector and just adjust the tolerance a little bit um, just in case we're getting some kind of um, errors, but I think we're, I think we're good. Um, let's continue. Uh, so we have visor. What else do we have? We need to do the, uh, the teeth. So let's collapse these folders and, um, add a new fill layer. Let's add a black mask and right click again, add a color selection. And we're going to pick the teeth, this green color. And, um, I believe these are actually, let me look at my reference here, but I think these guys are, um, Let's see if I can find my reference. So these guys are a little grayish. So let's go ahead and take the other channels off and just leave our color and let's use our color picker. Uh, you have to hold this guy down. And when you release, I'm on my uh, other display that has the reference up. And when you release, you can choose that color. So um, that's kind of a cool type of color. Let's take a little bit of the saturation out. And um, there we go. It looks like it's already applied to the teeth. And let's start to add another folder. Let's see. Those will be the teeth. Um, let's do the uh, cheek. Again, repetitious. Let's go ahead and add another fill layer. Uh, let's turn all these guys off. And I need to find a image of the side of a stormtrooper helmet. So, okay, so I finally found a picture. Let's go ahead and right click and add a black mask. And then let's add the color selection. And we'll choose this kind of pinkish color. And we are going to sample this color one more time. So I need to hold this down and let it go. Um, so like the cheek and, um, Actually, sorry, I didn't sample a good color. Let me finish my thought after I get a good one. Um, let's see, maybe somewhere around, let's see, somewhere around, I'm kind of looking at my reference and trying to figure this out. Somewhere around there, maybe. Let's just make it a little bit darker because I know it's going to be a little darker. Um, so the cheek and uh, this portion up here are like the same type of material. So let's go ahead and grab the color selection, turn that tolerance up until we eradicate that weirdness okay so if we turn this all the way not all the way to one 
we kind of need to bring this down and that looks great and uh, let's go ahead and do another folder again we need this to be the uh, let's call this like the pipes let's add another fill layer let's see the base color and I'm kind of just running through this and doing this for you guys let's see base color uh, cheek let's just rename this pipe so we don't get confused and uh, this is going to be black because it's going to be a conductor so let's go ahead and say black mask we're going to add a color selection and we are going to pick this blue color this nice blue okay so let's go ahead and turn that tolerance up so we get that nice and good Um, and I believe we only have one more part, and this will be the, uh, let's call this the, let's call it tubes or something. Doesn't really matter, just as long as we know what we, what it is. And again, sampling a dark color because I believe this is going to be, um, kind of metallic. So let's add a black mask and a color selection. And adjust that tolerance a little bit more. Okay, so that's how easy it can be. Um, there's one more thing that I want to do. Uh, we have everything laid out. Headband, visor teeth, uh, cheek pipes, tubes. Uh, one more is going to be the earpiece. And since this is on top, it's actually going to override the uh, cheek portion. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but once we actually, let's add a fill layer. Uh, I'll show you guys once we get into here to the color selection. It's, I had it set as a different color. Uh, it's like a purplish, and these are like a pinkish. And so the tolerance, as I moved it up, it kind of got confused. So um, now that it's sitting above the cheek, then um, this is going to work fine for us because it's going to be displayed over top of it. So let's call this earpiece uh, fill. Okay, and turn off these guys so we don't propagate it in a weird way. And then let me just select another type of color. Kind of a darker color. So there we go, and um, I believe the tolerance is pretty good. Maybe just a little bit higher. Okay, cool. And um, in the next lesson, what we're going to do is just add some more um, attributes that need to be on this mask to kind of make uh, those portions shiny, more visible. And um, if you guys like this video... Um, I'll continue to build upon it and make it more detailed, uh, but I don't want to put you guys to sleep. So uh, if you like this series, give it a like, a thumbs up, uh, because if you guys like it, then I'll keep doing more. So thanks a lot. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, and definitely subscribe to the channel and check out the files on Gumroad once they are up. So uh, hopefully they're up when you're watching this video. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you soon, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.